Larry asks, how do you create a video that is commonly used on newscasts, probably from cell phone video, where the left and right thirds of the screen are blurred and split, and the actual center third is the actual video overlaying the right and left sections? Okay, yeah, so let's kind of take a stab at that. So I don't know if it's specifically newscast kind of content, but I think in my scratch demo project here, I probably have a clip that I shot on a cell phone. So let's grab this. This is Maggie the Wonder Dog. And I'll just go to the end. By the way, if you don't know this, you can go to the end of your Camtasia project by, you click on your playhead here and then hit Control End. So now we're at the end of the project. And I'll go just a little bit further and we'll drop in our clip. Okay, so maybe here's kind of your scenario, Larry, where you have this kind of footage. And what you want to do is you want a blurred version of this on the left and the right, and then have this run in the middle. Is that sound about right? All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, he says. Okay, I like that. This is good. This is good stuff. So what I'm going to do is here's my clip. All I'm going to do, and I have it on the timeline, I'm going to right-click on it. And I'm going to say copy, and I'm going to right click, put the playhead at the beginning probably, and paste it. And then put this so they line up. Okay, Let's zoom in on the timeline a little bit. All right, so here we go. We got Maggie the Wonder Dog. Uh, let's see. So the first thing is with these two copies here. The one on the top is going to show on top of the clip that's on the bottom. Well, right now they're the, the same size and everything. So all I'm going to do is on the bottom here, I'm going to let's zoom out on the canvas. On the bottom here, I'm just going to make this fill the whole canvas area. Okay, then let's zoom back in. Right, so what you see is that Okay, so I have a big version underneath, and I have this center version. There's the top, and this is what's underneath. That which is on top uh, wins. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's, it's kind of hard to see, and if I actually scrub through here, right, the point that Larry makes is, well, what, he want, what we want to do is blur this bottom copy so that you know, yeah, it has like a visual effect there. I'm showing motion that corresponds to our main clip. Uh, so let's see, how do we do that? Uh, let's do this. Let me make this a little smaller. Let's grab this top copy and pull it up a track. And then let's go to the callouts, the annotations here, and under special, Let's add us a blur callout. Okay, so now we have the big copy on the bottom. We got a blur, and then we have our main content. So first thing, let's make the blur last the entire length. Okay, and by default, when you add a blur callout, notice that oh, well, it's kind of small. <laughs> So what I want to do here is just make this as big as the canvas. There. And now we have us a, uh, a blurry video in the background. And let's get, there she is, Maggie the Wonder Dog, rooting around, sniffing deer, and all that good stuff. Okay, and then of course with the blur callout, you can work with the intensity uh, under properties. So we could, you know, if that was a little too blurry, we could kind of do that kind of thing. In fact, if it wasn't blurry enough, you can go to a hundred here. If you wanted even more blurry, I think you could. We could kick this up another track and put another blur callout. Excuse me, on top of the blur callout and make it even blurrier. All right, uh, let's see then. The other thing that I would do here is that you'll notice that when I duplicated the video, 
clip, I got two copies of the audio track. So I will probably take one of the copies here. It doesn't really matter which one. Right click, separate audio and video, and then delete that track. Boom! What do you think of that? So there you go. Does that answer your question, Larry? Yeah, and then let's see, what else can we do? Just for giggles, if you want, since this clip on top is its own asset, we could click on it, and then I'll right click on it on the canvas. We could add some other visual effects, like a drop shadow, to maybe pop it off a little bit, you know, just to give it a little bit of separation. What else can we do? We could add a border, if you want and we'll just thicken that up a little of course change the color all of that good kind of stuff so yeah I mean you can then apply any other effects that you want to let's see here since we're in a fun and creative mood what if we and this picture doesn't have a lot of color contrast in it because it's well winter but for example on the bottom copy what if we, let's uh, right click on it, add visual effect, and let's do a colorize. So we could maybe make it like a Cepheid, you know, a Cepheid filter on top of it. Okay, so that's one thing we could do. Or what else? Let's make it black and white. So the background will be grayscale add visual effect. In this case I'll do a, a color adjustment. And here's a little trick I've talked about before. By default, doing a color adjustment, Camtasia does these really weird parameters and it looks really horrible. So I'm going to change the brightness to zero and the contrast to zero and that's going to be grayscale, black and white. right? So, yeah, again, it would work better if I had a nice full-colored video clip here. And it's pretty jerky, too, I mean, uh, that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, maybe I put it on a black and white moving background. So those are just some quick and easy things you could kind of play with and, and mess around with. Um, yeah, that's a fun trick. Uh, looks like I need to expand my blur a little bit. There, there we go. And a lot of times with, with a call out like this, you'll notice that I'm actually off the canvas. So if you, if you snap it to the canvas, the size, well, it's not quite right. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's not. Uh, maybe I need to snap it to the top. So let's, so there it said it was snapped to the top, but yeah, it's still a little bit there. I can still see it. So on a call out like this, the same is true if I was adding like a color shape to create a, a color, you know, a solid color background. I almost always go off the canvas. It doesn't hurt anything and now I'm sure that it's covering everything. So there you have that. Tips and tricks galore. It's crazy. How does he do it? And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> it's like magic. This is Larry. Yeah, so that's fun. That's a good one.